for our last solution type for these partial differential equations, the elliptic differential equation, we are solving the, the, the we are solving the Laplace equation. So u sub xx plus u sub yy is equal to zero. u of x comma zero is equal to zero. u of y of zero comma y is equal to five times sine y. And then u of x comma pi is equal to zero. And u of pi comma y is equal to seven times sine two of two y. So, because of this, um, well, number one, we could see that x needs to be between zero and pi. Likewise, y is also between zero and pi. Right, and we can even draw a little diagram here expressing that. The axes x and y, we go up to pi over here, and then pi over here. And all of our solutions then are within this poorly drawn box. But that being besides the point, uh, we could first separate our partial differential equation. So we have u of x comma y. That's going to be equal to x of x times y of y. And our particular partial differential equation, this being x double prime times y plus x times y double prime is equal to zero. We could separate our two, um, our two variables. We get the second derivative of x divided by x is equal to negative um, the second derivative of y over y is equal to lambda. So this means then that we have the second derivative of y plus lambda y is equal to zero. We also have the second derivative of x minus lambda x is equal to zero. And then based on our boundary conditions, so this one and this one, we are going to have on here u of x comma zero is equal to zero, which means x of x times y of zero implies that y of zero is zero. Likewise, u of x comma pi is equal to zero. That being that x of x times y of pi implies that y of pi is also equal to zero. Uh, we could solve our eigenvalue uh, lambda sub n that being equal to n squared. We have uh, y sub n of y being equal to sine of n times y uh, as our eigenfunction. And we could replace then the lambda in the x equation here. This would be the second derivative of x minus n squared times x is equal to zero. This then means that x sub n of x is going to be equal to c sub n times cosine times uh, cosine h of n x plus d sub n times sine h of n x. So cosh and cinch. Um, this then gives our general solution. General solution of u of x comma y is equal to the sum as n is equal to one to infinity 
of sine of n y times c sub n times cosh of n x plus d sub n times cinch of n x. Okay, and now we could start utilizing our boundary conditions. That being this one and this one. And let me just give myself a slightly bit more room here to do that. Okay, so u of zero comma y. This is equal to five sine of n, um, excuse me, u of zero comma y is equal to five times sine of y. And that means that's equal to the sum from n is equal to one to infinity of c sub n times sine of ny. This means that c sub one is five and the other c's, so c sub two, c sub three, and so on, are all equal to zero. Likewise, u of pi comma y. This is equal to seven times sine of two y. And that's equal to the sum as n is equal to one to infinity times sine of ny. And that'll be times c sub n times cosh of n pi plus d sub n times cinch of n pi. So if we are using the value of one, This is where c sub one times cosh of pi plus d sub one times cinch of pi, that's gonna be equal to zero, which means that five times cosh of pi plus d sub one times cinch of pi. This will imply that d sub one is going to be equal to five times cosh of pi divided by cinch of pi. Uh, for n is equal to two. we have c sub two times cosh of two pi. This is going to be equal to zero. So I am just going to immediately cross you out because that's just zero. We're not going to worry about that particular term. Plus d sub two times cinch of two pi, that's equal to seven. This implies that d sub two is equal to seven over cinch of two pi. And then finally, for values of n that are at least three. So greater than or equal to three, we have c sub n times cosh of n times pi. This again, we could just immediately cross out because it's again zero.
continuing on with that though, we have plus d sub n times cinch of n pi is equal to zero. This implies that d sub n is also equal to zero. This is for values of n being three, four, and so on. So the complete solution that we have is going to be u of x comma y is equal to five times sine of y times cosh of x minus five times cosh of pi divided by cinch of pi times sine of y times cinch of x plus seven over cinch of two pi times sine of two y times cinch of two x as our complete solution involving this. So that's the end then of this mini series on partial differential equations. Thank you.